morning everyone welcome back to the channel and welcome to a new day it is wednesday or yeah it's wednesday morning 11 20 and i am taking out if you recall in last week's food pantry i said i was going to break up those tubes of ground beef into thirds uh so i did uh, so i have three thirds in here i'm going to just take it oops <laughs> two thirds and thaw them out because we're going to have tacos tonight. And I'll tell you why I especially want tacos tonight. So I'm just going to thaw these out for the day. I don't have to uh, put them in water or anything. They'll have plenty of time to thaw out. But the reason I got to put this back in the freezer. The reason I especially want to have tacos is because Monday, uh, I think it was Monday. Yeah. Monday, it was like 70 degrees here. So we actually just went for a ride and enjoyed the weather. And uh, when we came back into town, we just took our country road drive. And when we came back into town, we stopped at the Mexican store. And, you know, I've told you this in the past that there are certain brand of corn tortillas that I like that cook the very best for like... Uh, tortilla chips, taco shells, tostada shells, and but they don't have them all the time. So Monday night, uh, we decided to go, you know, I decided to go in, and the first thing I saw were my favorite tortillas to fry. These are so good to fry. They're such a soft crisp to them, and... Yeah, so these are El Milagro Blancas, which means white corn tortillas. So I saw, I recognized this package right away. <laughs> and the little kid in me was so giddy. Um, I immediately went to that box. They had them in a box. And so I took four packages just so we could have them for a while. So yeah, I grabbed four packages. So obviously I'm going to I'm going to freeze 3 of them and one I'm going to leave out. There's 30 tortillas in each package. So 120 of my favorite tortillas to fry. So that's why I want tacos tonight so I can fry my own shells. I'm probably going to make some uh chips for Glenn. Uh as soon as he saw these he's all, "Ooh, chips." <laughs> so, yeah. They're so delicious, and I've talked about that before, but it's been a long time since I've been able to find them there, and now I, I got them again, and I grabbed four of them, so I'm happy, and every time I go to that Mexican store, I'm going to obviously check for these tortillas, and I'll grab some along the way, so, all right, so, yeah, it's uh, almost 1130 I just got up like at 10, almost 10.30, and I usually don't sleep that late. I slept that late because I was very tired, and I got up about 2.30 in the morning to go pee, and it seemed like I peed a river, but <laughs> but at 3.30 in the morning, uh, Gypsy woke me up having to go outside, and she normally doesn't have to go out during the night, but she came down with a sudden... Uh, Sudden thing of diarrhea again. Uh, she hasn't had it in a long time. So I took her out and then she had to go again at 6.30. So it's been a long night for both of us. She's tired. Uh, she's laying down in the bed now. But I woke up at 10.30. I figured, well, better take her out in case she has to go. But she didn't have to go at 10.30. Uh, she was playing with the fall leaves, though. She likes to grab them and shake her head and, and run around with them. So... She was playful, and so yeah, we'll see how the day goes. If she continues to have it, I have an already uh, made shredded chicken in the freezer in the garage. I already made some and just froze it for her in case she gets it again. Uh, that way it's already made. I just have to thaw it out, warm it up, and make some white rice. So, But I'll see how she does during the day. I just don't want to make it if she's not continually having it. But, yeah, so, welcome to our Wednesday morning. Uh, yeah. So, don't mind my mess here. Uh, these are a couple dirty dishes that I have to wash. Uh, 
everything else going on. So these dishes are all clean. As you know, I, I mentioned that I put my wash dishes in the strainer and that side to completely dry so I don't have to use a towel or any paper towel. So I've been doing that. And then there's a couple dishes in the sink to wash, but that's it. So, so yeah, it's a good morning. It's actually a rainy fall morning, very windy outside. You probably can't tell, but you can see the tree, tree blowing there. But it's uh, been raining off and on all night. It's supposed to be like that during the day today. Uh, yes, that's binoculars right here. <laughs> You know, where am I? Right here. I use those so I can see birds and wildlife like way back in the backyard. And, yep, I always, I'm always happy just to walk in my kitchen and see the lights here and the decorations. So all the leaves that I taped to the, the wall and the cupboard doors stayed on there all night. So, <laughs> so it looks like they'll be good there. But yeah. Uh, that's the brownies I made last yesterday. So, yeah, I don't know where I'm pointing. Right there. <laughs> that's the brownies. But So, yeah, these uh, fairy lights are more of a peaches color. But I'm going to leave them on as the fall color. When they were on the Halloween table, because I had that black and orange plaid or buffalo check cloth on there, it kind of made the lights look orange. But... They're actually more of a peach color. So I'm wondering if, because after the holidays and ha after winter, I still would like to have some fairy lights strung in here for the rest of the year, because I like the way it looks. I like a, a dim lit kitchen. I don't like bright lights. That's, I'm like a gremlin. I don't like bright lights. <laughs> I just aged myself. If you've ever watched Gremlins, uh, one of the Gremlins said, bright lights, bright lights. But yeah, our ceiling light in the kitchen is very bright um, and I don't like to have it on. And I think it draws a lot of power too. But yes, I like a very dim lit kitchen. It's just cozy and feels ambient. And yeah, that's the way I like it. All right. So enough jabbering. I don't know what I'm going to do next. I'll do something. <laughs> All right, so stay tuned for my day, and thank you for joining me. Hey, everyone. So I'm just outside with Gypsy right now. Uh, yeah, I just thought I'd show you how our day is. Uh, a little gloomy. It's misting right now. It's in the 40s, so it's a good uh, fall day. <laughs> so, yeah. Not too cold, not too warm. Well, it's not warm at all. It's just... Uh, Kind of a damp, damp cold. So, Gypsy sees her buddy out across the street. But, yeah, I'll show you uh, what kind of day we're having today. Nice day to just cozy up. It's been inside. So, all right, let me show you. So, as you can see, it's uh, real cloudy, dark. More on the darker side today, but that's okay. You know me, I like these kinds of days. I just put some uh, peanuts out for the birds. All right, so I'm gonna pay attention to Gypsy now and I'll see you guys in a bit. Okay, everyone, so I'm just making lunch right now. It's uh, just before 2 o'clock in the afternoon. Uh, the stuff we had last night, the pork chop casserole, I took the leftovers to Glenn. I warmed it up in the uh, Hot Logic this morning, so I just took that out to him. And I'm just making myself a bologna sandwich. Now, that casserole has never been one of my favorite meals. Um, all the stuff in it, I like <laughs> separate, but not together. I like the tomato soup. I like potatoes, carrots, uh, pork chops, but I don't like that meal where they all come together. 
Um, I ate it last night, but again, it reminded me that it's not one of my favorites. So I just took the rest of it to Glenn. He's having that for lunch. And then uh, after I eat lunch, I'm going to make some chips and salsa. Now for lunch, I'm actually having my bologna. Glenn is not a bologna fan. So this pack I bought a couple weeks ago, I think two or three weeks ago. And we ate some on sub sandwiches a couple times. And then we, then what I did was I froze the rest. And then when we were having sub sandwiches again, I took it out. So what was left, I usually put like two pieces of bologna on there. What was left, I didn't want to throw in the freezer again. Uh, so I figured I'll start eating it because Glenn doesn't like it. And that way it doesn't get wasted. So I'm down to like two pieces left. So at some point I'll have another sandwich. And that way the bologna not getting wasted. Um, I don't know if it would have froze good again. Uh, after throwing it in the freezer a second time. But I didn't want a chance wasting it. So, so that's what I'm having for lunch. Bologna sandwich. It doesn't bother me to just eat bologna sandwiches after bologna sandwiches. Like I've always said, I'm a very simple eater. Um, grew up on bologna sandwiches. And yeah, when we were growing up, we didn't buy like ham or anything. We bought bologna. <laughs> so, um, and that's probably why I like it and Glenn doesn't. So, so yeah, we don't have any lettuce. So I'm just throwing in tomato. And who knows, after this sandwich, uh, I might have another one. So I could use up this tomato and use the last of the bologna. We'll see. I doubt it, but <laughs> but we'll see. So there is my bologna sandwich. It's juicy. All right. So I'm just going to put some of these uh, barbecue chips. This is a small one ounce bag that we got in that gift box. Yeah. And there is my lunch for this Wednesday afternoon. Bologna sandwich and chips. And I don't think I'm going to eat another sandwich. That looks pretty filling. All right, so stay tuned. After I'm done with lunch, I'm going to go ahead and start making the chips and salsa. So that's done early. And the meat is actually, the ground beef is actually thawing fast. So I might even make the taco meat early and put it in the, slow, in the hot logic to stay warm. And that way the flavors come together. All right, so stay tuned for the rest of the day. All right, everyone, so I just went in the freezer in the garage to take out some stuff, and I took out a chuck roast for pot roast this weekend. We'll use it for pot roast, and I labeled this shredded chicken gypsy. So, yes, I just took her out, and she did have a little bit of diarrhea, and her last, um, the last of it, it was a little formed. But I think I'm just going to give her the chicken and rice and add some pure pumpkin to it to help her stomach out. Um, some of you might think it's gross to talk about this stuff. But these are the realities of having a pet. Whether it's a cat or dog or whatever. But these things happen. So if I talk about it and I tell you what I'm feeding her, that may help somebody else out. So... If you think it's gross, don't watch the video. Sorry. But last time I talked about it, somebody thought that was gross to talk about. So I quickly uh, exited her from the channel. Um, so, <laughs> so yeah, don't watch if you don't want to hear it. But I also uh, I made pumpkin bars. I don't know how long ago that was. And I froze some, so I took those out of the freezer. I made them in October. So I'll just make some uh, fresh uh, cream cheese frosting for them and so we can get those eaten up as well. So that's what I took out of the freezer. So now um, instead of making the salsa right now, I'll wait for that for a little bit. But I want to get some chicken and rice going for a gypsy. All right. So, yeah, that's what I'm going to do now. All right. So for the frozen chicken, uh I'm just going to let it thaw out in the saucepan. I put a little bit of water at the bottom. So for those of you that are that don't know how to help your pet's diarrhea, 
shredded uh, chicken breast and make sure you use chicken breast because it's the least fatty. You don't want to give them fatty pieces and no seasoning whatsoever, just plain chicken breast. So I always shred it up and then white rice. I just make it normal like I would for a meal and then I mix the two together and you want to put some pumpkin in there. Make sure it's pure pumpkin and not pumpkin pie filling. So that's all you have to do. And you might want to take away their current food. Like if you feed them dry food or something, you might want to take that away. That way they're just eating this to help settle their stomach down. All right. That's as much as I know. And it does work because I've always used it whenever she gets like this. And it might take a couple days, but eventually it works. So, and she loves it. So, <laughs> all right. So I'm going to start warming this up and get some rice going. Okay, everyone. So I've got the salsa done for Glenn. Uh, that's all I've done for the taco stuff so far. I've been uh, doing the rice and chicken for Gypsy. Um, you can probably see through the clear wrap, but. This is what I have in it. It's just I cut up one small onion. I didn't record me putting the stuff together because my phone was busy uh, transferring files so I can edit videos on my tablet. So what I put in there is a can of Rotel fire roasted diced tomatoes with green chilies. And normally I just do original, but this is what we had for Rotel. And I don't drain it. And I put two cans of El Pato Sauce, the yellow ones, which are the, sorry, uh, which are the hotter ones than the green. So normally when I make a salsa, I do one yellow and one green to offset the heat a little bit. Um, but I only have two yellows and one green. So the green has to go in the taco meat. So I told them you're gonna, you're gonna have yours a little hotter today. <laughs> he says, well, well, I guess we'll test how much Mexican I am. <laughs> and we always joke about that because I'm the Mexican one and I do not like spicy food at all. And he's not Mexican and he eats way more spicy food, um, him and my dad would get along, would have gotten along great because my dad just loved spice in his food. He would sit there and eat a, a jalapeno just like that. <laughs> so yeah, I think they would have had a contest on who could eat the hottest food if they ever met. But so yeah, he's getting two yellows in his salsa today. So that's all I put in there, a small onion, two cans of El Pato sauce and a can of Rotel. I did ask if he wanted this or fresh tomatoes. Uh, he said just, he said we might as well just throw all the hot in. <laughs> so, so yeah, that's his salsa. Um, the rice is done now and the chicken is done warming up. So I've got the chicken cooling off and I did drain out the water from the chicken just so it's not all watery. And I'm going to, I'm basically going to let the rice cool off a little bit and then mix them together and uh, put a little I put it all in a bowl I'll show you I'll talk about it when I do it okay so right now um I think I'm going to start frying up some uh tortilla chips that's what I'm going to do <laughs> okay everyone so the day has gotten by me it's already four o'clock and here I thought I was going to get done early with the taco meat and stuff but I remembered I woke up late today. I didn't get up till 1030. So that threw my day off and how I've been feeling like it's later than it is. But now I've today, the day just got by me. But oh, well, what are you going to do, right? Just take the day as it comes. So and once again, whatever I get done, I get done. Whatever I don't, tomorrow's another day. So taking my tortillas and making some tortilla chips. All right, I'm just gonna cut them. I have no clue how many are here, but we both eat them, so I make quite a bit. And I just cut these in fours. The oil is warming up right now. As soon as that's done, I'll uh, start frying them up. Uh, so yeah. 
I haven't mixed the rice and the chicken yet. I'll do that in a little bit, waiting for the rice to cool off a little more. I want to get these done, and then I'll make the taco meat. So, yeah, it looks like today is a day in the kitchen. <laughs> Okay, everyone, so I am trying to multitask, <laughs> get a couple things done at once. Uh, I've got the chicken and rice. I'm just mixing it up. I've got my uh, tablet here, trying to edit my video to go out tonight uh, at the same time. And I got tortilla chips in the frying pan, so <laughs> I'm going to get to it. Okay, so I've got my tortilla chips going. Uh, these are a little bigger, so the, the pan is a little smaller than what I usually use. So I'm putting four in right now. Uh, when I put them in, they get puffy, and I don't squish that down. I let them just be puffy. So uh, they tend to be a little more soft crisp that way. So that's what I'm doing. Then I just uh, dash a little salt on them, and that is it. So far, they're looking pretty good, and I already had one, and they are good. Okay, so I've got a little plate here. Well, a plate of chicken and rice for uh, Gypsy, and I'm going to use some pure pumpkin. And I usually just put it in the plate she's eating. I don't put it in the whole bowl. Uh, what I'm going to do with the rest of the bowl... <laughs> That's quite a bit, so I divvy it up into smaller packages and just wrap it with plastic wrap or clear wrap. And then that way, when she's ready to eat again, all I have to do is grab one of those packages. So, And then I put the pumpkin directly in the bowl she's eating. So I just mix it in there, and this has worked for her every time. And she loves this. <laughs> now, she will get to the point. Hold on. She will get to a point where she just starts engulfing it, just scarfing it. We do have a slow feeder for her. So if I have to, I'll go that route and make her eat slower. So she knows what's coming. She's already coming for it. <laughs> so, all right. And that's all I do for Gypsy when she has uh, diarrhea. All right. I got to get back to the tortilla chips. All right, everyone, so I got everything done, and it is not even 6 o'clock yet. So uh, I got Gypsy's chicken and rice and pumpkin done, and I got her fed already. I got Glenn his chip salsa and made him a couple tacos. I fried up our own taco shells here. So I'm going to sit down and eat and then get to editing the video. Um, by the time you see this video you will already have seen the video i'm trying to get edited and uploaded that's the one where i start bawling and uh crying and everything so <laughs> all right so i think i'm going to go ahead and close the video out here other than that we're just having the leftover brownies for tonight but yeah that's going to do it for tonight or today's video uh day with me in the kitchen and I hope you enjoyed the video. Thank you so much for taking time out of your day to watch it. I appreciate all the support. And with that, remember to live life. Be good to yourself and be good to others. Until next time.